Hey guys, I'm George. And I'm Al. And welcome back to the Fallout Test Kitchen, where today we are making Iguana on a Stick, also known as... Meat Kebabs. So, obviously there's no iguana that you just go to the store and buy, and I've never really heard of people buying or eating iguana anyway. I feel like with how small they are, it just really wouldn't yeah, work Yeah, you have to get like a whole bunch of them. Yeah, we could have gone to Petco, but <laughs> oh, there no. might be some laws against like animal cruelty in regards to like, killing so. and eating actual geckos. I would hope so. I would hope so too. And in the book it even says that it works with any meat, mm -hmm. but the recommended meat in the cookbook is duck breast. Some magic duck. Which, it wasn't hard to find, but there wasn't a huge selection, yeah. and there's a lot of fat on it, so... We don't have as much meat as the cookbook recommends, so we might have to scale back some of the ingredients a little bit, but I think we'll figure it out and it'll still yeah. be good. We'll still have enough to cook it and eat it. And show it off to you guys. Yeah. It'll be more of a snack than a meal, <laughs> but it'll still be good, I think. Iguana snacks. There you go. So to start off, obviously we have our duck breast, we have skewers, we have some pita bread because the book recommends serving it with pita bread and uh, tzatziki sauce. Tzatziki, tzatziki, I don't know how to say it. We have our garlic, red onion, uh, red wine vinegar, ground ginger, oregano, olive oil, Regular oregano. and honey. Mm. And we also bear. We do have a little bear. Yeah. We also learned from the comments on the last video that there was a difference between dry measuring cups and liquid measuring cups. Yeah. So now we know that for today. Liquid and then dry. So dry. So now we know since we have both dry and wet ingredients. We're good to go. We we know more of what we're doing now. But we're, I guess we're slowly gonna learn. That's the thing. This is our experience to learn how to cook, both <laughs> through doing and through the comments. Yeah. So it's gonna be great. Yeah. Thank you everybody who did let us know what we're doing wrong and yeah. stuff. Well, because people were like, oh, they've never been in the kitchen before. It's like, not really. <laughs> we're both. Young I own guys, hot pockets. pretty much. <laughs> uh, so to start, we have to make a marinade for Ooh. the duck of garlic, olive oil, red wine vinegar, honey, oregano, and the ginger in our trusty food processor here. Yeah. So I guess we should start by uh, peeling the garlic right. and then measuring the ingredients into here. So I guess let's get started. So do I even need to crush these garlic loaves? You would just need a Peel them. Peel them out? Oh, yeah. nice. You, it's easier to get the garlic out if you crush it a little bit with the flat side of a big knife. Okay. Crush that onion. That's garlic. Never mind. <laughs> the recipe calls for um, two 7.5 ounce duck breasts. We have 1.84 pound duck breasts. So, We'll scale things back a little bit. It might not be super exact, but you can always just do things to taste as well. Mm -hmm. So instead of five garlic cloves, I guess we can do four. All right. And that should suffice. And we'll do like four good ones. That way we're not like really skipping out on the right. flavors and everything. So we have four right here, so that should. It looks like little kidney do beans. With. <laughs> just take all this yeah. extra. And we'll just put that on the side. Goodness gracious. Yeah, so as you can see, I've already got like most of it off on this one, but you know, there we go. That's that's all of it, it looks like. I'll just drop that baby in. So, ooh, I like the sheath on this. So, what you can do, I've been told, is you just kind of like put the garlic under and then you just kind of smash it a little and that'll break up the garlic and then the skin just comes off a lot easier. The only problem with that is some of the juices come out, so then you might get very garlicky hands. Oh, like your hands, we got some toilet paper over here. <laughs> Do you not have paper towels nope. toilet paper? <laughs> we should have bought that when we were at the, <laughs> the grocery store. All right, um, half a cup of olive oil. Uh, so that's liquid. That's liquid, so that'll be in there. It's a lot of olive oil. We just drink it straight from? Yeah. Okay. You, what you do is that's like the, uh, the side. Oh. You drink the olive oil and then you eat the duck and it all just combines. <laughs> in your, your mouth. stomach. <laughs> and you just swallow it. You don't even chew the duck. Alright, cheers everyone. So we got honey, garlic, 
uh, olive oil. Vinegar olive oil. Oh, you put the vinegar vinegar in already? Nope. I just keep getting confused. All right. <laughs> so I was gonna say it's still over here. So. <laughs> How much of the red wine vinegar do we need? Two tablespoons okay. of that red, red wine. Fair. So Should that's I... the tablespoon? Yeah. You want me to? I can get that. Alright. Just be very careful with measuring this, I feel. That's one. That's two. So we need get that scoop. Half a teaspoon of ground ginger. So only half. Half a teaspoon. That's very small. It's, oh, wow, I guess yeah. I guess ginger is probably strong. goes a long way. Yeah. I'm just gonna try it. So if the whole thing tastes like ginger, we know why. And yeah, no, just because it's strong. Okay. And then two teaspoons of the oregano. A half a red onion quartered and layers separated. This will be it. That doesn't go in there though, that's just separate. But if you want to start prepping that. Eat it as a side. I feel like that's a lot of oregano, but. I like my oregano. I eat it raw with peanuts. All right, so we got everything in our uh, food processor. And I guess we're gonna blend that up. Yep, um, let's see. Uh, blend until well combined to create a marinade. Here's the thing that gets me, and people mentioned this in regards to the cookbook for the Nuka-Cola videos, because they were saying like, oh, the Nuka-Cola recipe isn't lore friendly, and it brings to mind, it's like, where are they getting a food processor <laughs> in the wasteland? This is a very extravagant for the wasteland cooking. It looks pretty, pretty blended. I don't see any real chunks in there or anything. I can always take the lid off and see, get a better look. Yeah, that looks pretty well blended. All right, so do you want to do the onion and I'll do the duck? All right, well, we're gonna try to cut this. Uh, do you have to, don't you have to cut the, that very top part off first? He cut it, he cut it off. He cut it in half, didn't he? I mean... I think you're supposed to cut that off first, like, like, like that, like and then I think so. All right. George, if we all start crying, I'm gonna blame you. No, this is not gonna be good. There you go. All right. Whew. How are you feeling so far? Good. I'm hoping you don't cut yourself. I'm cutting Shrek open. What you want to do is cut a little bit there. Cut here. Make sure the camera can't see any of it. <laughs> and then get it out. And there you go. There you go. You did it. It looks like there's a little bit of the, like the weird. No, that hell. String stuff. Pulp. <laughs> That's good. Onion pulp. It's onion pulp. All right. It's very bright here, isn't it? Also, the onion is starting to get in my Oh no. Did you touch your face at all? No. There you go. You just eat the whole thing. I mean, you could. You can eat onion raw. And there you go. That's the whole meal, right there. Put it right in your mouth. Go ahead. Do it. <laughs> Do you like red onion? Okay. <laughs> we have quite a bit of fat on this is the only thing. Because I was looking it up and it said that you want to cut away some of the fat, but not all of it. But as you can see, there's a lot of fat on this cut right here. So I'm just going to trim away some of it, or at least try to. Like that, that's just too much fat right there. Cut a little too much off right there, but I think it'll still be okay. Alright, so... We have to cut it down into bite-sized pieces, so... Sure you don't want to use it? We might use that one, yeah. It might be easier to cut all the way through. 
For Christmas, we're getting you some new knives. <laughs> or your birthday, that's sooner. <laughs> uh, yeah. There we go. All okay. right. I think that's that bite was, size enough. One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. There we go. So, five, or six pieces each. Or something. All right. Place duck breasts in a Ziploc bag, pour the marinade in, and refrigerate for at least two hours, turning the bag over every hour. So once. Yes. Got your batter in. Chuck that, your, ma your marinated batter in. Ooh. You want your enemies to go out <laughs> with flavor. Oh, is that a... Mm. Ooh, I can taste the oh. honey and red wine The way vinegar. it blends in with my blood. Taste the garlic for sure. Alright, so now we're just going to pour that bad baby in. Looks like that bad baby. It looks like Gerber baby. <laughs> it does. Nice little Gerber baby duck breast. <laughs> Let all of that soak together. Ooh. There you go. So now we put that in the fridge for the two hours, it said? Yeah, and then flip it once. After an hour. All right. So we gotta skewer this, and the way we have to do it is we're gonna do a uh, piece of duck, two pieces of onions, another piece of duck, etc., etc. And there's 11 pieces, so five on one skewer, six on the other. All right. Would you like to do the first one? Sure. There, that might make it a little easier. So how many pieces we putting on here? Uh, five on one, six on the other. So then take two onions and then, yep, just like that. Don't stab your fingers. It's beautiful. Oh boy. It's like a meat lollipop. I've had skewers before, by the way. <laughs> I was unprepared for the amount of duck. <laughs> on your hand? Oh, it ends on a duck? Yeah. Should I leave it here or put it on over there? Um, don't put it there. Put it here. We have to heat the stove. Okay. They want you to cook on a grill, but we're in New York City, so yeah. we got a grill pan instead, which I'm happy with. All right, and now I'll prepare mine. Sure. All right. George Chalinski in covered in sauce. A new special here on Zero Period Productions. In every episode, we find another sauce to throw at George. So, hi there. We got our duck skewers. Oh, oh god. god, was that the smoke alarm? Yeah. <laughs> oh, fire alarm works. There you go. Have you ever tested it before? Nope. Well, now you know. Now we cook for five to ten minutes. Uh, flipping when I think it's crispy. Looking for all kinds of crisp. The closer we get to eating, the hungrier I get. <laughs> like I'm, I'm really hungry now, and I hope it's good because I want to eat this. Should be yeah, that'll be cooked all the way. We yeah, it's it. Five to ten minutes and crisp on all sides, and it's definitely crisp, is the thing. Oh, that's, we definitely got that crisp. We got that crisp. Got that cookie crisp. So we are gonna be uh, putting some quantum in here as well. Just to, you know, make it more of a, a fallout meal. Yeah, all right. How do you wanna do this? I'm gonna take like a couple pieces off and try it on some bread. Um, do you know which, does it, one, two, three, four, five, this was mine. Yeah, okay. all right. Should I get a second plate just so I don't drip everywhere? Let's have something to eat over. <laughs> All right, cheers. Cheers. Very strong though. Yeah. Like that's almost a little overpowering. The thing about this recipe is it says that you can use uh, any meat 
but the book itself gave the instructions for duck. But with beef or pork or anything like that, I feel like this would still just be really good because it yeah. is just kind of straightforward. It's kebabs, just named it one on a stick. But I think the sauce helps. The sauce helps. The sauce was really nice. Having the bread was really nice. Mm. In general, it was just a good meal. And loosely Fallout inspired. <laughs> yeah. But the fact is, we got to try something new, and it was good. I'm not full, but I'm all right for now, which is kind of nice. Yeah. Oh. Tied you over to the next, uh, next iguana. <laughs> next, next time you find iguana <laughs> at your local pet co. <laughs> the onion was a bit much. That's yeah. the only reason I think we could have maybe done like longer, slower cooking. Because the onion was just a little overbearing, mm. even with all the duck that we had. But other than that, Pretty... I would say this was a successful meal. Yeah, this was great. So I would say two out of three so far is successful. Nuka Cola Quantum and this definitely would make again. And we even had the Nuka Cola yeah. Quantum again, so. That's how you know it's good. Exactly. We're yeah. still drinking. Because <laughs> we can't get rid of it. <laughs> but I think that'll be it for this episode of the Fallout Test Kitchen. Once again, I'm George. I'm Al. And we'll see you in the wasteland. See ya.